Have you ever wondered how honeybees live their lives? These tiny buzzing creatures are one of the most captivating and vital inhabitants of our planet. They are the unsung heroes of our ecosystems, playing an indispensable role in pollination. Without them, our fruit trees and flowers would struggle to survive. Let's imagine for a moment the world of a honeybee, a bustling metropolis of activity, the hive is home to thousands of bees, each with a vital role to play. At the heart of it all is the queen bee, the mother of every bee in the colony. Then there are the diligent worker bees, the females who do all the foraging, cleaning and nursing. Lastly, we have the male bees known as drones whose sole purpose is to mate with the queen. Now let's delve into the life journey of a honeybee from birth to death. The life of a honeybee begins as a tiny egg laid by the queen bee. This queen, the mother to all in the hive, carefully selects each honeycomb cell to house her offspring. Once the eggs are laid, a fascinating transformation begins. In the snug confines of the honeycomb, the eggs hatch into larvae after about three days. These tiny white worm-like creatures have a huge appetite and rely on worker bees to feed them a diet of pollen, honey and a special food called royal jelly. As the days pass, the larvae grow and change, eventually becoming pupae. In this stage, they are sealed into their cells as they undergo their final transformation. They develop legs, wings and all the other parts of a bee's body. After about 21 days from the time the egg was laid, a fully formed bee breaks free from its cell. Once a bee emerges from its cell, it's ready to take on its role in the hive. Every bee in a hive has a job to do. And what a fascinating world of work it is. You see, the hive is a bustling city of bees, each with a distinct role. Let's start with the worker bees. These are the busy bees we often talk about. They're out in the fields, foraging for nectar and pollen, which they bring back to the hive. They also help in maintaining the cleanliness of the hive. Then we've got the nurse bees. Their role is a crucial one. They take care of the larvae, feeding and nurturing the future generations of bees. Moving on to the drones, their main job, mating with the queen. Sounds like a sweet gig, doesn't it? And speaking of the queen, she's the mother of all bees in the hive. Her role is to lay eggs, thousands of them. Throughout their lives, bees work tirelessly to ensure the survival of their colony. And that, my friends, is the extraordinary world of honeybees. But what's the sweet result of all this hard work, you may ask? Well, it's none other than the golden syrup we all adore, honey. When bees collect nectar from flowers, they store it in their honey stomach. Here, enzymes break down complex sugars into simple ones, making it both digestible for the bees and resistant to bacteria. Once back at the hive, the bees pass this nectar to house bees who continue the process. They chew on the nectar, adding more enzymes and then deposit it into the honeycomb. But it's not honey just yet. The bees use their wings to fan the nectar, evaporating the water and thickening the nectar into a gooey delight. Finally, when the honey is just right, the bees seal the honeycomb with a wax cap preserving it for later use. And there you have it, honey, a testament to the tireless work of these incredible insects. Just as every life begins, every life must also end. Honeybees, especially the worker bees, live for a few weeks. Their queen, however, can be with us for several years. As their end approaches, these diligent creatures in their last act of service choose to die outside their hive. This is their way of protecting their home, their colony, from potential diseases that their bodies might carry. In their short lives, honeybees contribute immensely to their colony and to the world around them. Honeybees are not just workers, they are also learners. Just like a well-oiled machine, they are trained for specific tasks. They communicate through a unique waggle dance, sharing crucial information about food locations. Remarkably, their tiny brains can remember complex routes and landmarks. Their navigation skills are top-notch, allowing them to journey far from the hive while still finding their way back home. These habits make them efficient foragers and excellent team players. Isn't it fascinating how such small creatures lead such complex lives?